first time meeting, my name is Beck and I'm currently a mom to three. Phineas is one and it is time for him to move out. The only reason why he has spent so long in our room is that I was nursing him for 10 months and then when I stopped it was the middle of winter and we didn't want to put him into this front room because it does get quite cold. But now that we are in spring heading into summer, we are wanting him to have his own room, especially as we prepare for bub number four. We have six months until we are room sharing with our final bubby. So so we thought it would be a great opportunity to transform this kind of junk room back into a nursery. It has been Zoe's nursery. If you want to click on that video, I will leave it up here in the card. Otherwise, you can go into the link down below to click it. But this room is going to turn into a little boy's room, which is really exciting. Finn is our first son. Since Finn's arrival, I have been searching on Facebook Marketplace and I've been collecting a couple of items as they have become available. So they have been sitting in this room. Otherwise, there's items from the girls' room that they're no longer using. So we are going to do a run to the dump just because there is stuff in here that we no longer need. If there is anything that we can be giving to other families, then we will do that as well. But we are just going to tidy all of this up and make it into a beautiful boys nursery. Question of the day, what do you think our nursery theme will be for Finn? If you've been following our journey, you know my little nickname for him and that's my clue to how I'm gonna be decorating his room. behind me is just the clothes from both Phineas and the girl so that's gonna be my job while Mick takes care of the bed being 14 weeks pregnant I am trying to minimize how much heavy lifting I am doing but at the same time I want to help Mick out so I'm gonna deal with the clothes while Mick deals with the bed This room is incredible as a clean slate. We'll just do a quick vacuum of the floor and give the walls a bit of a touch up, but it is all ready to go to turn this into our little boys nursery. I'm honestly really excited. This room has gone through so many changes, but now that Finn is old enough to use it as his room and this next bub will use it for their room, it will, this is our final transformation besides maybe redecorating. It's not gonna turn into a spare room or a junk room anymore. This is it, which is amazing and crazy.
Finn's nursery is now completed and I love the final product. This is the first nursery that I've really put together with decorations and a theme and I think it's turned out really well. Something that I have been doing for a couple of months now is been looking through Facebook Marketplace and Gumtree for furniture and all of these items I have purchased secondhand. The rocking chair, the cot, the chest of drawers, even the change table. The only thing that is brand new in this room is the baby swing, which we needed to get because our last one actually died from overuse. But I feel like things have gone well really together and everything is super functional. So not only has it been affordable, but this space really does work. So let me show you a couple of things that we have done and the reason why I love them so much. So this is Finn's chest of drawers. We've got his pajamas and a couple of things up the top for nighttime. We have shirts, shorts, and then his winter clothes so all of it is functional and the best part is we're kind of in a crossover of seasons right now and rather than just having a summer or a winter wardrobe he does have both of them which is really good i didn't know originally when i purchased this piece if i would use it as a change table which is the reason why i got it a little bit lower for myself but on top of it you can see a lamp which is really good when they're waking up or if you're in the middle of the night and you don't really want to put the light on that's a nice dimming light we also have our diffuser in here. Finn has really small nasal passages and he gets blocked easily and gets a bit of a chesty cough. So we put in some eucalyptus and lavender. So the eucalyptus helps clear the passage and lavender helps calm him. And then over here we have his white noise. When it's come to Phineas's decorations, these items here I think are the most sentimental. My sister makes bunting with the kids' names on it every year for their first birthday. And so the bunting is one of a kind, it's done by my sister. And then these watercolor prints I painted myself last night. I wanted them to look nursery friendly so I didn't put a lot of detail in them and I wanted to keep them quite plain and simple and I think it really ties in with the fact that I was able to find this green fitted sheet. Because of the fabric on this rocker I have just used one of Finn's sheets on here as well. It also helps because our cat seems to love sitting on Finn's rocking chair and so this way it doesn't wreck the material. But I think this is just a really cozy touch and it links in with our Finny Bear theme. Now even though Finn is our third child, this is the first time that I've ever had a change table. Usually we just use the top of chest of drawers and the top drawer has nappies, creams and wipes in it. But this time we were given this change table from a friend and I went to Ikea yesterday Today and picked up these buckets. So we've got hand sanitizer and cream on the side, nappies. I need to get a new wipe container because this one doesn't actually fit in there. And then at the back is a little bin. We don't know if we're going to use it as a bin. I was thinking it could potentially be like a dirty laundry basket that I can just put his clothes in there. Finally, if you watched Finn's first birthday party vlog, you would know that I printed these out. Something that I've done for every child is that their monthly milestones. I do a little photo with them and write down their milestones that they've met, who they're developing into as a little person, and it makes for such a great decoration in their room. All of our kids, no matter if they've had a proper nursery or they have just shared a room, they have had those pictures and I feel like it's a great way, especially because I use the wooden floor in the lounge room, that it brings a bit of warmth into the room and the kids love looking at them. Zoe loved looking at hers when she was a little bubba and Finn is enjoying pointing at them and it it's just a great way to converse with him. Thank you so much for watching today's nursery makeover. I hope you have enjoyed it, gotten some inspiration that you can create a very homely nursery environment without having to break the bank and keep to that budget. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. It really does support our channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that bell so you get notified when we upload because this parenting gig doesn't come with a rule book. We only have each other. And I'll see you in our next video. Bye.